my greetings to everyone present here. I am thrilled, excited, enthralled, and captivated by the energy of Naga boys and girls. My salutations to you. Honorable Governor of Nagaland and Assam, Professor Jagdish Mukherjee, First Lady Nagaland and Assam, Mrs. Jagdish Mukhi, Honorable Chief Minister, His Grace's wife, Excellencies, and most important, everyone before me. It's a great day in my life. I will never forget this day. India is a land of culture. We have our civilization of thousands of years. This place is at pinnacle. This is a place culture of cultures. I congratulate the people of Nagaland on their statehood day. I also congratulate your governor. It is his birthday today. And there is another historic development on this day. India has assumed the presidency of G20. And you will have the occasion in April to show your unique culture, your warmth and greetings to the world. This is a historic development. The year is very significant. India is proud of its tribes. India is proud of its tribal culture. A great history has been made in 2022. The first citizen of the country, the president of the country, the president of the largest democracy on earth, the president of mother of democracies, most respected, honorable Draupdi Murmu, is a tribal woman. It is for the first time in the history of the world that a tribal woman is heading the largest democracy on earth. I salute tribal culture. I salute your energy. And I can tell you, the moment I got down from my car, when I saw a sparkle in the eyes of boys and girls, their energy, their enthusiasm, I knew I was at a place which has no match in the world. I knew it is a festival of festivals and Naga culture will ever be imprinted in my heart. This place has glorious history, unique culture, and world over, the word Naga is known for culture, for courage, and for display of talent which the world remembers. Your food, songs, dances, craft, customs, they are very captivating. People to people interaction here is always on the rise. And 
No doubt the festival has been imaginatively named. Hornbill bird is known as the king of birds and this festival is rightly known as festival of festivals. When this headgear was given to me, I felt energized, motivated, inspired. There was passion in me. I had been seeing it on television. What I had been admiring for a long year was all before me. A moment ever to be cherished in my life. The feathers adorn the headgears of warriors and are greatly cherished and they denote valor. Landing at Dimapur, taking a helicopter, and what I saw was nature, God has been very kind to this land. Beauty all around, scenic beauty unrivaled anywhere on the globe. The state has great tourism potential. And apart from the gift of nature, the state has something very unique. And that is people who have great love and affection to give. Naga culture, Naga hospitality, Naga traits. A great change has taken place in our country. It is started with 2014. The Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he started a new scheme. Look East, act East. And this looking East, acting East, Nagaland is a focal center. A big change, a development change is taking place. Boys and girls, you will be happy to learn that for the first time we have a ministry at the central level that is committed only to the development of East. Funds are earmarked and I can see the development taking place. This festival marks another great victory. We couldn't have this festival in 2020. We are having it in 2022. India has beaten COVID as no other nation has beaten. Imagine more than 3 billion vaccinations were given for first dose, second dose and booster. Boys and girls, on this great festival day, it is a matter of joy for us that we are the only country in the world that has made available this certificate digitally. Even countries claiming to be very developed have not been able to accomplish it. On economic front at a time when the world is reeling, our achievements are so significant we need to be proud of them. I know as a matter of fact, along with your Honorable Governor, when I was myself Governor of the State of West Bengal, from 1st April 2020 till now, India is the only country that is providing 800 million people rice, cereal and pulse. These are things that must make us ever proud. Each of us must realize the rise of India. And in 2022, thanks to the talent of our young minds, thanks to the great opportunities that are being made available, the number of unicorns with more than a billion fiscal dimension, we are number one in the world. Mark my words, we are number one in the world 
there is no other country that matches us and that is why there is no global entity of repute where an indian mind is not at the helm you have a culture of thousands of years our civilizational ethos remind us that india was vishwa guru we were leaders in the world we always treated the world as one family and that india has always been showing time has come when we must enjoy relish and cooperate in the growth trajectory of this great nation our youth population that is our demographic dividend unrivaled and you can never have an ecosystem in the world where democracy thrives blossoms human rights values are sustained and all this we are on development trajectory the kind of infrastructure that we are having in the country was not imagined few years ago i have no doubt this festival which is festival of festivals where display of talent fervor and commitment will have indelible impression with everyone will catalyze growth of tourism industry in this state i was discussing with your chief minister a man of enormous talent and i was so happy to note that kiwis of this place pineapples of this place coffee of this place has a special angle which everyone needs to appreciate the steps are afoot to ensure there is greater marketability greater dissemination and it is matter of time where the tourist destination of this country nagaland will be a favored destination another significant aspect i wish to share with you as vice president of the country i am chairman of rajya sabha council of states the upper house i congratulate people of nagaland for the first time in their history they have sent a woman as their representative member parliament to rajya sabha and that is speaks of empowerment of women <laughs> nagaland has the credit of having the lowest crime rate amongst women my congratulations to all of you <laughs> nagaland my dear boys and girls exemplifies women empowerment and this theme will take us to greater heights equal position for women in naga society is something which rest of india needs to emulate i would conclude by saying one thing finally the entire world is looking at us g20 presidency of bharat india the largest democracy is a milestone achievement our hospitality will be unique and what will happen in nagaland during that time will be unique amongst most unique my congratulations to you what i have witnessed so far is spectacular and what we will see later on we will cherish all our lives once again i am grateful to the honorable chief minister for making available this lifetime opportunity to me to be with you all who share the joy and rise of this great country jai hind